What's good guys, Fat Robert, the fattest Robert there is coming to you live from my hub. And today we are bringing you some awesome jank we just received in the mail. We have an awesome collection that has just come in and I am looking forward to opening it with you guys, everyone watching. Please, if you enjoy this kind of content, like, comment and subscribe. Be sure to follow us at Kybercorp AU on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Same handle on all of them. And without further ado, let's crack into this mail day and let's see all the good stuff we have. I know some of the stuff that's in here, I don't know all of it, but we're gonna have fun figuring it out. And this will be up in the mail day page on YouTube. So if you see this there, fantastic. But if you don't, please make sure to go and join mail day and pack appreciation. It is a fantastic group, positive vibes only. So let's get into it. Now I would like to bring everyone's attention to the box that is in front of us at hand and we are going to crack in and see what awesome stuff we will find in this collection. I spent about 1500 AUD on this collection, which is about 1100 USD for anyone who's watching over in the States or it would translate, I guess you could say to about eight to 900 euros if you're over in Europe. So we're gonna open this bad boy up. And as you can see when I do, we have a binder in here, which I will go through last. And we have two tins full of some cool stuff. Oh, a couple of guys didn't make the journey. They got a little bent, but hey. Okay, so we'll start with the two tins. We've got the red Nova Dragon tin, and we've got the Shooting Star Dragon tin from 5Ds, which is Pretty nice old school collector tins. You don't really see many of these around these days considering we get more of the 2016, 17 mega tins, but these are all mainly bulk commons. We're gonna have a quick flick through these before we get in the binder and we're gonna see if we can find ourselves any cool, any cool commons that generate any decent value. We've got Spirit Castle Wall. These are some really old cards here. Mask of Weakness, Tiki Saw, oh, some Storm of Ragnarok in here. Insect Imitation. That's actually a really cool card. If an insect deck ever becomes good, guys, pick these up. It has one print in PSV and that's it. Just the one print. So that's a really cool common, actually. A really cool old common to pick up. Malevolent, Lars of the Mind, Wipe, Thunder Short, Soul Exchanges. Got some old Trap Hole from the SKE Structure Deck. Have Poison, Draw Frog, Aquamadool, Whirlwind. Imitation's cool. I'm really happy with that actually. I, I like whenever I can pick up any of those older, older commons that have nice value that we can use in the future. We've got a Gaia from SYE as well. Let's move these around here. Bunch of SYE cards. Mystical Elf, Armel, Neo the Magic Swordsman. Oops, Neo's gone for a, for a six. Sea Serpent, Electrix, and... What else? There's a Vampire Lord. Um, Illidan. Let's see if we can find ourselves some WoW Warriors. Shout out to John Papadopoulos. We've got a common Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon from the starter deck. That's pretty cool. There's also a Bountiful Artemis and a Punk... Punkratops. Herdias Puppeteer. Winged Dragon Guardian of the Fortress 7 Colored Fish. See, there's always there's always some fun stuff here. You never know what you're gonna find, but we don't really buy it for the bulk as well. We mainly get it for what's in the binder that's coming real soon. Oh, Wabaku, that's a good one. And you guys will another red MD. You guys will see what's coming up shortly in there. But for now, we're gonna find a nice fun band card, which is always nice to keep copies of. Never know if these cards are gonna come back or not. A mass change, Raya. A, a common allure, we'll take it. A trade in as well. These are not. These are nice commons. Like, just because something's bulk doesn't mean it's bad. You know, you, you just got to go through it for five minutes, and you know you'll find some nice gems. We got Armed Ninja, which is a nice card from the Lob set. Summon Skulls seen better days, but here, yeah, regardless, Goblinenberg's cool. When everyone always needs a Goblinenberg. Whenever it comes around to trying to get one, they're usually a five or each. So. Not saying I'm charging that for it, but it's nice that for a warrior deck, DNA surgery is cool. Yeah, it's nice for a warrior deck that's possible to have. Card trip, goes and match, cyber dragon, dust tornadoes, Gemini imps, possible cool hand trap in the future. Moki Moki King, hell yeah. 
I'll take some Moki Moki cards. There's a Man Eater Bug, Vampire Lady, Wing Weaver is a cool card as well. I remember pulling that when I was a kid. Beaver Warrior, King of Yami Makai. Shout outs to Ryan Cormack right there. We've got a Neo Spacian, a Marine Dolphin, Wall of Illusion. That's TAV first. Is that is that spelling out some few? possible cool future things that we find here the unhappy maiden elemental hero flash judgment look some of these have a little bit of damage but you know what for the most part they're all pretty good it's i'd say for the uh, you know 95 percent of it is fine and that's that's all good because you know we, we're buying these for the nice cards in the binder um, this is just the stuff that comes along the way, and we're happy to pick it up as well. We've got a Fossil Tusker, that's pretty cool from TAV, it's a first. The Dez Frog. Tribe Infecting Virus. An Honest, another Man Eater Bug. There's some cool stuff in here. The Ababoon, okay, looks like we're moving into some more recent stuff here. Marie the Fallen One, before it was a Dark Lord. That's a pretty cool one. Mother Grizzly was also a fun rare. Baby Cerasaurus is a nice. It's a very good deck of the moment. This is the third man eater bug. I'm not pulling him out, but that's also good. Worm Apocalypse, so we've got some hidden arsenal supers in here. Horn of Light, that's a good equip card for a warrior deck with a sold. Hain Hain. Creature swap and reload. Nearly done with box number one. We've seen some fun stuff in here. Another Wabaku. Wabakus are sick because they come in and out of meta. I remember we, we were citing this during YCS last year because Wabaku was really, really good. Fish is nice and premature. Snap still, cold wave, all these band cards. Well, anyway, Wabaku is really cool because it's um against Rongo. It was sick because it just bided time and then you could just kill them after they lost all their materials. Horsemen's more mask change, change of heart, some cool band cards here. Band cards were always nice, everyone loves some band cards. Sogan, remove trap, sanctity, change of heart again. I keep out all these bad ones. That one's had better days for sure. <laughs> oh, Draco Net Combo deck. Mind Drain. Reckless Greed, Reckless Greed. I got some Lilas, I have a friend who might be interested in those. If you're watching Simon, hello, let me know if you need Lilas. Dragon Capture Char Rush, Recklessly Rare from MRL. There's Magic Ruler stuff in here, that's cool. And it's first edition. Yeah, it might be a bit worse for wear, but I mean, we'll take that. That's really cool, because obviously Magic Ruler turned into Spell Ruler eventually, and they changed the code on the, they changed the code on the packaging because of it, so it's nice when you can see some MRL. Pot of Greed Common. That's great, that's actually great. Everyone needs a Pot of Greed for their goat deck. Skull dice, Moki Moki Smackdown, sick. I like, I'll take Moki Moki cards. I'll take them. Oh, Phil Barrier, hell yeah. That's a great one. That's actually my third, that's sick. Dimension Capsule, Magical Mallet's a cool card. And another Fissure, D Spell, Poseidon Waves, uh, Double or Nothings, hell yeah. Now what we'll do is, is we'll move on to tin number two. Let's see if we can dig for treasure in here. What secrets does this tin unhold? Which we might need a jackhammer to actually open it because this one's sealed shut. Got a screwdriver here, wow. We got it, we got it guys. All right, what do we have in here? Sabadot, dualities are nice, allures, warning, okay, that's a, this is a great start, mind crush, breakthrough skill, alrighty, giant sword, this is a great, that's a great start, wow, solid le level eight, why not, let's pull the level leader aside, crystal, bless dragon ravine, why not, Bam broken bamboo sword, there's all some cool stuff, there's really, really cool stuff here, Jellyfish, End of Z World, Phoenix Blade, that's that's an OG one, SDWS. 
Divine Wrath. Creature swap. Sonic damaged as hell. Sonic chick. Another goes in match. That's cool. That's the, that's Sea Sock as well. That's the third baby Cerasaurus we found in here. Tethys, Red Eyes from SD1. Then we've got things like the Flame Swordsman from SD Star Deck Jane St. Joan. Another Moki Moki King. Hell yeah. We love ourselves Moki Moki cards. I think everyone does. If anyone's watched GX, the character that plays Moki Mokis is probably one of my favorite characters. He's hilarious. He's just jigging, jigging class up on the rooftop, just hanging out with Moki Moki, just causing all these all these issues, it's great. Advanced draw is pretty cool. Sea cannon, creature, leash. Another advanced draw. Oh, fossil dig, hey. That's an old fossil dig too. That's cool. That's really cool. Summon limit. Got some Destiny Hero stuff as well here, which is cool or common. Book of Life, we're not playing zombies, but fun card back in the day with zombies. Defusion, that card was cool once. Foolish Burial is cool, we'll take those. Base gift. That uh, that looks familiar. I think that got a reprint recently. Regeki Break, Bottomless Trap. I haven't seen some of these cards in years. This is such a this is such a throwback when I get to go through collections like this. Island Turtle. I love that guy. I'm just putting him aside because I love that guy. Got a magical library. I mean, we can't always win, but I mean, we we, we take the fake ones. We love those. We love them. And Keto, still a cool card. Gain some life during time. Mind Crush play set together. We got the YZ. Okay, look at that. Four Chaos Sorcerers. SD6, IOC, SD6, SDDC. That's cool. We got more Light Sworn stuff here for my Light Sworn friend. Shadow Imprisoning Mirror, Mind Drain, Mind Drain, Golden Bamboo Swords, Broken Bamboo Swords, Chaos Sorcerer. This is all great stuff. People running about. I haven't seen you in a while. Tomahawk, what a guy. I love people running about. What a card. It's literally just people running about. Dark Bride. About halfway through tin number two. And we have seem to have found some pretty nice things so far. I'm, again, I'm pretty happy because this is all the stuff that, you know, you don't expect much out of the bulk. And then you just find yourself some really cool, some really cool stuff that you just don't see often and gain some value or at least has a little bit towards it over time. And that's really, really helpful. We've got some Nordic cards. Everyone knows I love Nordics. Is that a worm? What, what mole? What mole it was. Oh, a Sky Blaster token. That's cool. That's cool. I haven't seen one of those before. Nordic Relic, Advanced Ritual Art, Threatening Roar, another trap that you could use to outrun go. For the same reason you could use Wabaku. Fake Explosion. Scrap Reactors. Three Power Sink. Oh, an old Guardian from Raging Battle. It's first. That's that's nice. That's cool. Road Knight! Road Knight! Once per turn, you cannot. You cannot once per turn. Dark hole, spider web. Here's some black wing stuff. Drill synchron. Let's turn this around. Chow Len. Skill skull red bird. Sorry. Oh, a swap frog from overdrive. 
But Baby Dragon from Starter Deck Joey. So this is all some nice Starter Deck Joey stuff and some Kaiba stuff as well. But when these it seems to be all the normal monsters. It, Master of Oz, cool, I've always wanted one of those. Uh, it's not the ulti, but I'll take a rare. I'm not too picky on that. We got a starter deck Yugi Summon Skull, which actually isn't in the worst condition. That's pretty cool as well. Alright, so that's that's probably it for um That's it for the two boxes of commons. And now without further ado, we're going to start going through this binder. I hope you guys enjoy this. If you do, please like, comment, and subscribe. Tell us the cool things you want in this. A lot of this, if not most, is going to be going on the Kyber Corp auction page. So be sure to keep an eye out on Facebook at Kyber Corp Yu-Gi-Oh! Auctions AU. Join their YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, all handles at Kyber Corp AU. So without a doubt, let, is, let us go into this. So we've got, at first, we've got Raid Raptors. We've got Secret Four Strix, which is really nice because a Secret First Wing Raiders Four Strix, they are great, great value. And we've also got ourselves a playset of Ultimate Falcon Supers from Shining Victories, which is such a fantastic Waking the Dragon target. 3,500, so hard to out, unaffected by everything. Next page, we have the Phantom Knights. I believe there is three of everything in here. We've got three Fragile Armor. We've got three gloves, I can see those. We've got one cloak, and we've got two boots. That's fine. We've also got the band bardish. We've got the break sword, and we have a fog blade as well, which is really cool. Then over here, we have the legendary dragon of white, the legendary magician of dark, which were fantastic. They are promo cards that were replicas in the world superstars. We also have a Secret Galactic Overlord Big Eye, a Jump Promo, Gustav Max, Requiem Dragon, Numeron Dragon, a Secret Felgrand, and a Secret Bahamut Shack. Very, very nice. Very good start here. We are going to have a lot of fun. There is so much more cool stuff going through here. I'm very excited. We also have the Infinitrax here, the Full Core. We also have ourselves a Super Rail Dreadnought Cannon Leap. This is a fantastic card. This card games people most of the time it's summoned. Usually you win 100% of the time when you summon this card. It's a very sought after card, so that's a, that's a great pickup as well. Let's go next page. We have the Dino stuff. We have we have Dolkers, we have three Lagiers, and we have two Toads. Two Toads and a Solder, and they're both in off first, which is really nice. The Sylvain Protector. There's three urgent schedules. I didn't even know those were in here. That's really, really, really cool. I didn't even see those. I didn't know those were there. That's sick. These are Mega Pack is one and Bosch first is the other. And we have a Turbo Pack Rekindling. Turbo Pack Rekindling and this Chain Disappearance Super is also a Turbo Pack card. It's American, but it is a very, very nice card. This is a really really nice start to what we're seeing here go next we have a play set of first secret infinite impermanence play set of first secret evenly matched secret judgments multiple peace golem ultimate rare that is a beautiful ultimate rare there's a bit of a nick on the top but the rest of the card is actually in fantastic condition that's really cool we've got the ulti bountiful artemis here as well and the Curaz, those are beautiful looking cards. We've also got the Brotherhood of the Five Fist Bear. We have a secret first tour guide from Extreme Victory. That's very, very nice pickup. And last but not, oh, we have the Police Stitch and Steep Patrol. And one of my favorite cards in this game's history, we have a secret first rescue rabbit what a beautiful card that one is as well and without a doubt finds its way in and out of the meta constantly rescue rabbit is just one of the best cards that keeps coming up and will continue to keep coming up next page here we have the we have a flare metal a draco sack secret from the mega pack we've got a tomb we've got crab king emerald gold we've got the gimmick puppet and as a thought and over here we've got ourselves zark 
We got the five headed dragon. We have the Chaos Neos, but it doesn't say it's Rainbow Dragon, but we'll take that from the LG, from LCGX. We've got Theseus, the best monster of 2017, and my band boy Colossus as well. And a secret rare Elemental Hero Thunder Giant. I will probably be keeping this one to go in my hero collection. That is a beautiful card. This is a great page. This is a great time to be alive. So we have the heroes here, and this is a fantastic set of heroes. You will be seeing these coming up sometime soon your way. We have a ultimate red dark law. Look at that, and we will just inspect the condition. That is fine. That is a nice looking ultimate red dark law. I saw that and I was really excited because that is just a fantastic card to pick up. And it comes with all these other hero cards. We've got the Bane over here. So we've got a full hero core, I believe, in here. So there's the Death evil hero, Malicious Bane. We've got Blast, Secret Acid, Absolute Zero, Sunrise, Dystopia, all the boys, Adjusted Gold, Liquid Soldier, Anki, it's just, everything's here. This is just a fantastic hero collection. And we've got more of it over here. We've got three Pharis, two Increase, a Dynatag, Soldier, two Vion, Trip Malicious, and I believe that is one Secret Rare Malicious from Ra Yellow first. And then we've got two Ultra Rares here from the Legendary Hero set. Then we have two Stratos, one Honest Neos Secret, Necrom, and two Stratos as well, which is a beautiful little package here for heroes. You pick this up, you found yourself most of the deck as it is. The adjusted golds here, the banes here, the liquid soldiers here. We got an ulti dark. What more do you want? What more do you want? That is fantastic. This is a really, really good stuff here. And we've got more heroes here as well. We've got the play set of super droll and lock birds. We've got triple triple emergency call secret from Ra Yellow Mega Pack and triple fusion destiny we've got the old style poly from DPRG DPYG that is an old polymerization that is very very nice one and I can finally rarely bump my rotor with this LCYW or LCJW excuse me right here and we've got three copies of a hero lives which I don't think sees as much play these days but it's still a really good card and over here we have the Merms. There we go. So we have ourselves triple first Teus. We have triple first Megalo. We have a deep sea, deep, deep, deep sea diva turbo pack right here. A very, very highly sorted card, my friends, right here. We also got the Abyss Gaios and the Bahamut Shark in gold is Gaios. I don't think that's ultimate. Yeah, it's just the ultra, that's fine. And then when we move over here, we've got the Dragoons, but hold on, it's middle one. We have an Astral Pack 2 Dragoon. My good, this is a very heavily sought after card. This is fantastic. This is excellent in this collection. We've got the Astral Pack Inventories as well. So these are all super. That's also a Max Rarity Merm card. And we've got the Atlantean Princes from the Mega Packs, still ultra. Easy to get because they're in Bosch, so it doesn't really matter if they're Mega Pack anyway right now. And then if we go over here, we have more Mermails. We have Mullen Glacier Secret from Abyss Rising, which is awesome. That is a first edition Mull as well. Beautiful card. And we have the Abyss Spike from Astral Pack and two guns from the Astral Pack as well. We also have a beauty over here. Look at this. Look at this. Yata Garasu first LOD. I'm going to pull this out of the sleeve and I'm going to be super duper careful. Show you guys exactly how good a condition this is. Can you can you see there like, how nice this card looks? It is in such good condition. It is in such good condition. Let's have a sneaky peeky at the backy. It's got a little mark there. A little bit of a white mark there. That's okay though. Guess we would consider it minorly not light play from that mark, realistically. But other than that, you other than that line there, this card is near mint. I will straight up say that. Other than that little line, this card is straight up a near mint card. So very, very, very minor play if you really wanted to split hairs on that. But I would expect that to be 
uh, a smiley face on card market to say the least. And then of course we have the LCKC Dragoonity Phalanx, which is a nice card as well. We got the Luminas are all first raw yellow ultras as well. We have an ultra set of desires. We have ultra wolves as well. So this is all good for my buddy Simon. I've got a lot of I've got a lot of light swan stuff that he will be very keen on. And again, most of this stuff, guys, you are going to be seeing this on the auction page, ready to go. Next page, we've got a high speed rider secret omega. That is cool. Ultimate token, a clear wing. We've got a Barkion from LC5Ds, Light and Dragon, She and and that is Bran. As well with the Diamond Dire Wolf Secret First. We've also got an Exiton Knight Secret First, Drag Lubion, Master of Blades, Ignis Heat, Ignis to Prominence, not Ignis Heat, Ignis Heat's my boy. And then we've got the Black Rose Dragons here and a Brianak from Hidden Arsenal 1 Secret Rare. Very, very nice card if I may say so myself. Go on to the next page, we've got more hero stuff here. We've got a Shining Phoenix Enforcer Secret Rare, I believe, from LCGX. That's a nice pickup as well. We got some dolls. We got some dolls to bump in my rare for rarity in my Dogmatica, to my Dogmatica strategy. So we've got the Construct from Mega Pack, and Anoya Tolis, which is not being used, but we've also got the Shekinaga, and we've also got the window which will probably be seeing the most use out of all of these in my deck and then we have a nightmare package we have goblin mermaid cerberus unicorn griffin and phoenix i thought i was going to forget the names there holy crap and then we have a borrow load is this mega pack or is this site uh, that is a circuit break borrow load dragon beautiful absolutely beautiful what else let's see I, I don't even remember half of this. This is just fantastic and fun to go through and I hope you're all enjoying watching this as well. We got another five-headed dragon here. This one is, where's this one from? This is LC03, so that's an old card. And then we've got the Silent Magician level eight, a secret torrential tribute, which is nice. A Yubel is really cool. Yubel the ultimate nightmare in first edition from LCGX. We've got Super Shadol Beasts, that is a bump from the Astral Pack, and we've got a first LCGX Elemental Hero Mudball Man, and over here we have our Shadol Fusions, Flash Fusion, Solar Recharge, Interrupted Kaiju Slumbers as well. Now we go into the Madolch deck, and this looks fantastic. We have Pudding Sets, we have Tiramisu's, Chocolalalalas, Glass Soups, Hoot Cakes, Magalines, and it's the original Magaline from Red Dew. So if you guys see this, just note that as well. And Angeli as well. It is the Ultra Rare. It's not the BLAR. This is all very original Madolch stuff. Very sought after in its time. Really, really great stuff. Great deck. Really good fun deck to take to locals and just have fun with. Then we've got the Fluffle stuff over here. We've got the we finally got our Patchworks. We got repairs. We've got uh, Krakens. I believe there's octopuses somewhere as well. Sabertooths, toy vendor as well. Best engine ever. Shout out to Harry Door. All you need is Fluffle, Bear, Wings, and this, and you've got Pot of Greed in your deck. There's a very nice stuff. And if we bring it over here, we got some Monarch stuff as well, which goes well with the with the ultimate that we had earlier. So we've got our Pantheisms, which is going to be at more than one eventually. And we've got our Secret Rare Monarchs from the Mega Pack up here. We've got our Risers, our Thestalos, and Earth Guy. I can't see his name of the sticker. And we've got Idiot Adoses as well, the Underworld Squire, and Mega Monarchs too. Then we have more of our Monarchs just here, followed by our Artifact Sanctums, which is another fantastic card that got a reprint recently, but is still great and might I point out as well where applicable everything here is in the highest rarity in terms of whether it was an OTS astral pack tournament pack whatever it was in its time this is all fantastic stuff I'm really looking forward to using some of these cards as well and being able to play with some myself and selling a lot of them on our page and that about does us for the collection i let us know if you think i got my value i really am happy with everything i've gotten this 
and you will be seeing plenty of this stuff on the auction house. So please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe on this channel. Go to KyberCorp AU on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and be sure to follow us there for more updates. We'll tell you when videos are coming out. We'll tell you when we've got cool stuff up, and we're always putting up awesome photos of classic cards and all our shenanigans on the Instagram and Twitter. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed watching this collection opening. I got a few surprises myself in here because I wasn't entirely expecting some of the stuff that was in here, but it was a great surprise. A huge shout out to Sky, the person who hooked me up with this collection. I am sure that we are going to be going through this for the next couple of months. It's going to keep me busy, and I hope that there's stuff in there that all of you enjoy and can look forward to seeing on our page. So be sure to go there, like, follow, and subscribe. And we will be bringing more of this stuff to you. Peace out.